I'm John Pitts with an installment of Passion Behind the Owner, brought to you by Karma Automobilia and our great sponsors, Classic Auto Insurance. And today I'm talking with Les. Les, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. We are here surrounded in a beautiful garage, by the way, by some amazing cars. I'd really like to understand first, though, what was your first car moment or what started your automotive passion? Well, I guess uh, even in high school, I was a gearhead from the time I was a young boy. I remember uh, my buddies and I would drive to the local Chevrolet dealership every time they got in a new car, and uh, we would go hang out and watch them take them off the truck, and the first time I saw a 67 Corvette with a big block, I knew that someday I would have to have that car. So obviously from there, this is parlayed into three amazing Corvettes, and I know that each one of them is unique. Yeah, start with this one a little bit and tell us what your passion is and what, what the process was with this particular vehicle. Okay, this car is a 1960, and this car is a, um, this car has what's called a triple crown car. It's won NCRS Top Flight, Bloomington Gold, and it won Chicago Vet Fest Silver Spinner Award. This car was restored right here in Carmel by a gentleman by the name of Warren Mockler. Every nut and bolt, everything on this car is exactly the way it was the day it rolled off the assembly line. So this is, a, this is a restoration of a 1960. Uh, I don't drive it very much, but, uh, but it's a really nice car. And in the, it's got the hard top here, and in the back also has a convertible top that comes up. So it's a, it's a, as you can see, it's a really nice example. Now, the color combo is amazing. And what is this actually called? What is this? That's called sateen silver. Sateen silver. And then, then the, the red interior, and this is the, exactly the way it came from the factory. So this is all original, back to nut and 100%. bolt, total restoration. Every nut and bolt, every mark, the day it rolled off the assembly line is exactly the way it looks today. Well, you've been a great steward of keeping this, and it's really interesting that cars can be preserved to this level. And obviously the accreditations of three awards really speak to the value and the validity of this car. Yeah, I've had this car for about eight years, and I, I don't know that I would sell that car. It's, it's uh, too hard to replace, and I just, uh, when everybody sees the car, they just kind of fall in love with it. That leads us to the next car, and mm -hmm. that is this other one, this black one that you have been turned into a resto mod. Resto mod, So why don't yes. you walk us through what the thoughts are on a resto mod, and then we'll obviously show some of the vignettes of the different pieces. Okay. All right, so Les, that was the 60 Corvette. That leads us to this one, which is a 59 resto mod. So explain the term resto mod and what makes this a resto mod. Okay, resto mod means that you've restored, in this case, we've restored a 59 Corvette. Basically, it's a stock body, and then the mod means it's got modern chassis, suspension, brakes, got an LS3 500 horsepower fuel injected engine, uh, heating, air conditioning, uh, all the electronics, Bluetooth compatible. It's basically a 59 shell over a brand new Corvette. Now listen, the Corvette Purist, uh, this car was not a restorable car back to original. Okay. Myself, I wouldn't take a car that you could restore back to original and make a resto mod, but this car was a mess when we found it. The front end was knocked off of it, the engine was missing, the transmission was missing. Virtually none of the components were there. LS motor, yep. I mean, hot on the front end. You talked about a six-speed Tremec box, and probably the best is just suspension you know, components yep. below, along with fantastic modern braking technology. This thing is a rocket ship. 500 well, horsepower, 2,500 pounds. So it really is pretty, and I just love I mean, the depth of the black paint is, is truly amazing, and I think you have a passion for red interiors, I've seen it. I do, yes. It, uh, that insignia red really works well with the black and the silver coats. So that leads us to your next project. So I'd like to talk to you a little bit and show the 67 Corvette okay. that you're working on. All right. Okay, Les, this now leads us to your most recent project, which is this beautiful 1967, which is also, again, a resto mod. Resto mod, that's correct. Okay, so walk us through this one and the journey of building and designing this. Well, we've, re we've restored a 67. Basically, the body components of this are the same as a stock 67. We used a 525 uh, LS3 motor, which is basically an ASA stock car motor. Uh, it's got a very big nasty cam in it. It's a beast when you start it. All Z06 components, brakes, cross-drilled rotors. We've mimicked uh, Mercedes-Benz interior in there. Again, uh, air conditioning, AM, FM, Bluetooth, all electronic components. Um, this is, uh, the 67 has been an iconic car for me. I told you when I was, even before I could drive, I dreamed of owning a 67 and I've, I've had a couple of them. But uh, I, the resto mod, you can actually take them out and drive them and enjoy them. Because again, it's a 67 Corvette with all modern components. Well, it's beautiful inside and out, and the paintwork is amazing. The fit and finish is gorgeous. The level of detail within the, the engine bay and the, and the caliber of all the componentry is just amazing. Now, you said this Corvette is, is, is a, that's a Corvette that's color? A, that's a 2016 Corvette. That's the same color they painted 2016 Z06. And I really like how they milled these uh, valve covers to mimic 
the old school script and the uh, old school valve covers on the original Corvette motor. Thank you. The, the level of detail that goes into building one of these cars, it's really a labor. Well, to build a car like this uh, is a year, year and a half project. To assemble all the parts, the engineering, then the actual assembly, and then the creative process that you go through with the builder. So it's, uh, it, gets, it, it ends up being a really fun project. Thank you so much for spending time with us. This has been a fantastic day. Uh, looking at these cars and again three examples of Corvettes that are just really pristine and beautiful Thank in their you. own right and the ingenuity and the engineering in the rest homage shows and the attention to detail so I'm sure you have to put your own stamp on them and the preservation of the 60 is just truly amazing. Looking forward to bringing the 67 this year and sharing it with some people and let them appreciate it. Oh great so yeah. automobile is on your list yep. this year. Yep going to be there with the 67. Well great and so are our great sponsor Classic Auto Insurance. Hope to see you there as well. Classic Auto, insuring your vehicle, insuring your passion. Call or click Classic Auto today.